tell me, uh, you're a teacher here at La Puente High School. Tell me what grade and subject grade levels do you teach? Uh, my name is Lydia Pershing. I teach sophomores and juniors. I co-teach in the general education setting and I also have a small group setting class for sophomores and juniors. Very good, very good. Okay, I know that this test is fairly new for everyone. Um, what do you know a little bit about this SMAP test? Um, so I know that it tests in the areas of language, uh, reading, math, and then also the NGSS and life sciences. Very good, very good. Okay, um, I know that your school changed the way that the test was administered and you went to more like a block schedule. Do you think students did better this way? Hands down. <laughs> Without a doubt, um, my students, they came in, they like knew the routine. Also the time allotted allowed them to like really focus on the test rather than it being like period to period and they're kind of like all over the place. They came in fresh early in the morning and we're ready to take the test. Very good, very good. All right. Um, overall, do you think your students did the same, better, worse from the fall to the winter? What are you noticing? Um, I've done reflections with uh, all four classes of English that I teach mm -hmm. and there are some scores that went down but overall looking at all of the reflections and the scores the majority of my students either stayed the same or went up. Now I noticed that you did a very in-depth reflection a uh, little activity here with your students. Why do you think that's important? Because I, I want them to take ownership first of their scores and how they're doing and, so, and seeing that and kind of understanding like how they do and also reflecting on like their test taking skills um, and also the importance of doing the test. Like it's not just some test that they take and then they never see again or hear about. Um, it's an important test that I want them to take ownership of it. Very good, very good. Okay, do you think there's anything school, the district can do to help uh, improve some of those, you know, achievement scores? Um, I think just to continue talk, talking about it, doing these types of reflections where they see their scores and then also like maybe like next steps like if the students see their scores like what are areas that we can work on and kind of like building goals for students Very nice. so they can achieve them. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank